I'm here with Cat again. We're doing this new thing where we just like do, we test, we make changes to decks, and we can't, we don't, I don't know if we're gonna do nothing but mirror matches, but um, we're just gonna play along with stuff. Uh, I won't obviously be posting builds in the description because they're gonna change for a while, but I think I'm gonna try this real quick. We're doing, we've been doing gear game mirror matches for a little while, and I'm um, just trying to figure out what's been going on and see if we can make the best decisions for our, for decks and I'm gonna settle on this for right now um I kinda like what I see uh, we'll see if we can what we have going forward our builds are pretty different right now they are they are quite different so there should be a little variety for you guys but um this is a deck that we feel you're hosting right yeah I'm hosting okay this is a deck we feel has um, a lot of potential going forward, um, and the mirror matches are crazy fun because the person who uses their resources in the best way as possible wins. Like I blew my load, like the first uh, the first duel we played, the first mirror match, and like it didn't go well. Um, so we're just gonna for you. Yeah, for me, it didn't go well for me. So we're just gonna kind of see what happens. Holy shit, this end is bad. All right. Um, I'm gonna hop on that bandwagon too. Mine's pretty subpar. Alright, cool. <laughs> but like, I don't know, these, are, these could be fun. We'll see how this works. And if there's any decks anybody wants us to try out, go ahead and take the thousand. Yep. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Oh, this is such a difficult decision. No, we go with this first. Um, Something good? Okay. You do that. You poon. As you can see, Cadigan's build has artifacts in it. Mine doesn't. It's three Sanctum, two Maltok. Yep. So, uh... Yeah, that's going away. I'll just get rid of it. Yep. <laughs> and then... And set a couple cards, and that'll be that. Alright. Oh, that's good. I always try and highlight cards on the field or in my hand. Glad I drew that. Um, based on, like, so people can see what they do. You have the ability to read them. Um, I'm just going to end up taking that 17, and I'll just take the 21 right away. Save time. Alright. Uh, effect. Yeah, that's fine. <coughs> armor, set armor. Uh, I'm going to put it. Oh, yeah. Nugget going down. Um. Yeah, it's fine. Okay. Alright, that was a bad choice. Fun fact. The fiendish? Yeah. That was a, that was a misplay. That was a, a really bad misplay, actually. Well, I'll work on it. Um, I'm gonna try my own here. Mm -hmm. I hate Yu-Gi-Oh. Luckily, the restrictions still apply. Bad choices are bad. You know what's gonna be funny? What's that? Oops, hang on. That's supposed to be up here. Oh, you're actually sacking it? Yep. Wow. There you go. Being that guy! Yep. Uh, let's put on some damage here. 16, and then 21. Yeah. Hopefully, please. Oh, uh, hold on. No, I'm gonna do prison a second one. I'm gonna do prison a second one. I have to. Fuck that. Gross. Alright. I'm at too low health to be able to survive on anything but that. Oh my god, the fact that I don't play anything decent is pissing me off. Have another thousand. Please draw something decent. Fuck. 
Fuck. Yeah. Actually, what I should have done was let you flip the armor down and then alicard it. Because I had the wiretap for any yeah. anything you would have had. Yeah, let you flip that. it down, I saved the Phoenix chain. Guess who's bad at Yu-Gi-Oh? This guy. Fact. Uh, let it happen. There we go. That wasn't a phone call, that was just a really long vibrate. I have no idea what these little circles on my phone mean. I think it's someone added to me their circles. I, get, I think that means we just got a brand new subscriber. Woo! A new subscriber. Um, how bad am I at this game? I almost want to make you not be able to. Hey. Oh, never mind. Uh, hang on. Go for it. Aww. Is this thing a quick effect? Nope. Nope. Never is. That would actually be really solid. Alright, now you can go. Oh. Oh, really? Actually, wait, hang on. Please don't tell me that you drew... You drew Augur. Cause I would laugh if you exact game me. <laughs> oh my god, you suck. <laughs> Alright, whatever. I drew both of those. <laughs> That's gross. I think I have time for one more game. Uh, let's do that again, too. No siding? Uh, no siding. No no side. side. Just test the main deck. Uh, I want all my shit to load so people can see it. Load all the friggin' extra deck monsters. There we go. So for the viewers, um, my build is playing 15 monsters, 5 spells, and 20 traps. That's a lot of traps. I think I'm playing 6 spells. And 14 traps or something like that. Or 16 I don't know, something. Alright. Full of a god. Oh, that's gross. Get a thousand. You want to see gross? Do you have another one? No. Go for it. I mean, it looks gross for me. The one time when the extra card may have actually done something. Yeah, life. We both have to play that, don't we? Oh my god, I didn't want that. <laughs> this is pretty ugly. Do you have any more of the boxes? Gearbox? Um, maybe. If you find a box, I want it. <sighs> Life is evil. Really? You poor bastard. Yeah. <sighs> Alright. Stand by, phase. Do a darn thing. Boo! Convulse it? Yeah. If that's not armor, I'm be so sad. Alright, that's fine. That's the box. I'm just gonna be like, wow, I didn't set him back a turn at all. I'll also be like, I'm gonna make him wait. It's not going to be able to generate no advantage. It would be sad. <coughs> oh, swag. Cards. Um, can I do nothing? Yep. Alright. I always got that constant, like, thought that, like, if one of them bluffs is like a moral talk. I'm okay. I'm okay. You're not okay. Let's go for... Because you never know if you're playing around real stuff or not. Are you normaling that? Yep. I mean, yeah. Does that sound fine? Yeah, that's fine. Alright, he's going to make a card. That's cool. Go for it. <laughs> it's the fucking box! <laughs> oh my god, I'm so bad. Oh, I'm so bad. Jesus. Um. Kane Gorgon. When a card or effect is active that targets exactly one card in the field and no other cards, you can detach one exhibit material from this card then target another card that would be an appropriate target for that. 
Alright, well, I'm gonna do this, so you can either get rid of your Kangorgon or your armor. Uh, it doesn't work like that. Why not? Because, well, I, I can't do anything with it, because Deep Prison specifically denotes an attacking monster. Okay, well then you can't do it. Like, we'll get rid of it. Yeah, that would be correct. Okay. Let's not attack that. Uh, armor effect? Nope. Sure. Target Axel? <sighs> nope. Wow. Sub part is... Now you're done. <laughs> yep. Alright there, buddy. Some cards are doing me well, some cards are not doing me so well. Um, I am honestly, cause I'm honestly gonna get Eve. Then, and hope that's an armor. Yep. Yeah, that's the thing. You know. All right. <sighs> what would I be at? That would be shitty. That'd be so shitty. Sounded like extremely flamboyantly gay there. Effect. Yep. Go ahead. Oh, god damn it. Some stuff is just hard to figure out if you're making use out of it or not. It's challenging. It's solid though, I'll take it. Effect. Hmm. Yeah. I mean, what, what could you do? Well, I'm thinking what you could do. Things. Alright. <laughs> this is honest to God the one time I wish I ran, um, fucking Zen Meister or whatever it is, the one that sets it and then flips it during the end phase. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, that card is hilarious. Not even kidding. You could probably get the ulti first for like 80 cents. Because <laughs> it came as a friggin' ulti. Fact. Yeah. You're just gonna add the accelerator back? Yeah. And you're just gonna put the. There's that. Can you add it back again? Um. No. I'm gonna add. Gearbox and then use gearbox effect. Add the box? Yep. And so it's 500 attack or defense. I'm gonna add an arsenal. That's so good! And I'm gonna set this. And pass to you. It's like. Uh, how do you play around it? Effect. That's kind of gross. Uh, sure. Yep. Alright, now what do you do? Oh my god, so many bad decisions. So you have to get both these off the board. I wish I played a friggin' beat stick. What, like Acid Golem? <laughs> or Leviathan Dragon? Leviathan Dragon! Dante? Not fucking Dante. <laughs> no. I have the ability to get one too, because Eric owes me money for the spell ground. Does he owe you that much money? I don't know. Give me the unlimited one though, that he owns. I mean, I guess I'd make this decision. <laughs> Shit, I didn't know armor special tokens. Always, dude. The tokens are the best. It's the only reason you play armor. Um, this gigant effect. You just take them. <laughs> Alright, cool. Whatever. Um, and then with the 
second one I'm gonna add box back. I'm gonna add the box. And then add. Oh my god, because you do that, this is so good! Christ, dude. I mean, I literally added them both. You're saying, though. It's just... Uh, cards on cards on cards. I'm gonna do this. Detach. Target. <laughs> All three axles. <laughs> yeah. I personally would have saved it for one of the X's, but that's just me. I have another one, so I'm not as concerned. Um, I'm not going to win this turn, sure. Oh, what? Did you draw off that, Emerald? That's a blowout. Did you draw off Emerald? Yeah, I just did. Uh, yeah, yeah, I was the upstart. Not that you need to know that. That's an armor. Eh, it doesn't matter. Fair. Proceed to potentially take 41. What am I doing with this? I guess I'll do this. Add what, our or, what is it, 23? 23 and 18, yeah. And 18. Whoa! Alright. That'll do big. That was a bad decision. I fucked up. I fucked it up! Gotta get another thousand. Sure. Um. Yeah, the summon of Arsenal is fine. Drag four? We see the emptiness. We see that emptiness. Uh, Literally abusing the hell out of Gearbox. I can see that. I think you got it. Just because I don't have... I should have done that on something. I don't know why I didn't. Just wasn't thinking. Well, I don't know. It's just one of those things where I just did didn't make optimal choices because you had. It's all part of the process. Yeah, you had the. I don't know about the drags. I want, let's see what we got here. Because like, there's there's two cards I have room for. Uh, if I take these out, obviously not gores or anything like that. No, I don't run gores. I mean. Being able to float your gigants is really good. I yeah. Just, I just don't know if it's consistent enough. Want to actually play the threes to just yeah. take all five of those cards out? Yeah, like, I forget the name of the dude that topped with gear, yeah, but he didn't run any part of the threes. All level fours. So I think I think the sacrifice of of recursion is worth the consistency potentially. So you drop these. And then you can kind of decide what you want to do. Because um, you have you have so much room. Obviously I'm gonna put my lance back in. There's there's a lot of splash ability for this deck. Like artifacts oh, work well in here. Uh, you can always go with plus one gear gear, you know, with the trap tricks and stuff. I don't care for that. That's just Um there's the hands um, shit, you can splash. If you want an idea, I heard, um, you could run Machinas. Because, um, Gearbox is another free pitch for, um, no, it is. Fortress. What? That's, that's another idea you could float around. Because mm, I'm trying to think how would this work if, if you played 
If he played, like... If I took out the upstart, I can play... What? Like, what do you... Let's, what? Uh, let me just see real quick. How many, how many engine cards... The gadget engine six. We're at 34, so that's 40. I, I really don't think the gadgets are going to be good unless you were throwing goldfishes. Good point. Good point. I mean, would goldfish even be bad in this deck? Uh... Bad? No. Good. How many monsters do you play? Fifteen. Two of which are Moral Tox. Okay. How many Arsenals are you playing? I'm playing three. You are playing three? I'm playing three. I'm going to go back up to three then. I don't know why I keep putting two A's. <laughs> At the very least, I run Triple Wing Blast, so... True. Dead... That arsenal. So there. it's 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 at the point where you have five cards and you and you have four extra X bases. I'm gonna play two Castell, of course. I'll put that in there now. As you saw in the earlier videos, it was pretty good. Yeah, yeah, the earlier duels, the the double Castell was kind of important. Um I don't know, I have room for three more, I guess I can try. This thing. It's a lot of choices. Yeah, this deck is actually uh enjoyable in that you can put a lot into it. Because I have room for five cards. Still keeping the upstarts. Um, I honestly think that if I played two MSTs in the main board, it wouldn't be bad. Okay. If I did this. Inside of the third. How many wiretaps are you running? Just two. Three wiretap is not that good. Because, like... Because once the once like once the emptiness is up, see that's that's my reasoning behind congratulations. But if you want to go for for examples, the the guy that topped with the deck didn't run anything but three wiretaps as far as S and T negate. Oh, well three ice hand. Let's see. Yeah, you gotta have something to get rid of it once it's up. Never mind. So we got three cards. Point proven. We have three cards that you can play. I don't want to play, like, I don't want to play 3D Prison. I like, wouldn't. Have you maxed out on Breakthrough or Fiendish? I've maxed out on Fiendish. I have not on, I, haven't, I don't play Breakthrough. Um, Trip Vanities? I don't play Trip. So you want to play Trip Vanities to Breakthrough too? I mean, put something in the 3. Put Wing Blast to 3. Put. I don't want to play 3 Wing Blast. Put Vanities to 3. Or put Breakthrough to 3. I don't play any breakthrough. I could play like triple fiendish double breakthrough if I really wanted to. I'm running double double. So I, I think, wonder if I, think, I have I think triple double's fine. Let me see something real quick. I want to see what my old gear gear, like gear gear carrot curry build. But I only played 13 traps. What the hell was I doing? <laughs> Filling your deck with a car curry engine. <laughs> Blackhorn. Mind control maxis. You can still side the mind control, which is nice. What am I doing? I'm gonna do that first. That was a really random ass deck. Oh man. All in all, Augur has a lot of potential. It does. Um just when you're sitting on like two cards and you don't know what to play, you, I could main deck Dark Hole because of the deck. If has. you if you want to do something a little gimmicky, you can run Machine Dupe. Oh no. Cause guess what? <laughs> yeah, 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 Augur's five. Um if you want to be gimmicky, you can. Um, because it'd clear your deck out of... The old builds before uh, gear came out played two MK2s. Because you could just MK2 and Arsenal, attribute the Arsenal, and then make one rank three, and you just played a few rank threes. Yep. Some did that, but then gear, gear, gear came out, and you had to max out on all of them. That's just... Yep. Yeah, there, there are a few, few things you can float around in this deck. I mean... The, the thing that's going to... Like, this deck is good right now. I think the deck would be even better if there was another machine target besides Gigan, the extra deck. I want to know what... What is it? Gearbox. What about it? It has to have, like... Like, Augur adds level 4 Earth Machine. So let's go Monster. There's a lot of them. Effect. Well, there's a decent amount of them. Type. Did you look through these? Yeah, I did. For synergies. It can search any of the Karakuris. It can search the Machinas as far as gear frame. It can search, it can search the frame. gadgets. There's a lot of targets. Hold crap. 
yeah. three pages of targets. There's a lot of Earth machine level fours. Oh, that's funny. They, I can't even tell which, uh, which one is ours. What do you mean? I guess the the machine is sniper. They have two different nervous censored version. <laughs> Probably the one with less things on it. If there's a difference there. They literally just changed the color from gold to black of the of the weapon. So I'm assuming ours are the ones with the numbers on it. Yeah, ours are the ones with the numbers on it. Yeah, they did it for Machina Defender too. They changed it from gold. Well, we to black. we probably have the less realistic ones. Actually, we have the more realistic ones. Do we? Yeah, I I guess these are ours. I can't tell. I've never yeah, seen this good before. Um, Truck Roid. Remember that time Roids won that one freaking tournament or whatever. Or not the turn with that one duel against prophecy. Yeah, that's oh. what I was. I was. That was so funny. Talking to Joey about that yesterday, when we were talking about funny rogue decks. Redox is bad. Yeah, I don't want Redox. Obviously. Um, I don't want to play the machine engine because then you got to play sevens. You know what's funny? Hmm. Redox actually wouldn't be horrible because you just ditch gearbox. <laughs> but don't run it though. Don't run it. Don't run it. Not run uh, it. unless you run gear frames and fortresses and stuff. Don't run it. I'm not gonna run gear frames and fortresses. I have two cards. I just didn't know if there's like any like random ass tech that I can search. Like this card, Shredder is annoying, but it's not good anymore. In draft, it's annoying, especially in Battle Pack Three draft because everything's a machine. Is it? I don't know. There's just like a lot of decisions that you can make here. Um, just clear everything. Because, like, I could easily just main deck Max C, Valor, or Crow. Uh, hang on a sec. I'm getting a call. Call the Haunted wouldn't be bad. How many of those do you play? One. Okay. One Call the Haunted. You play two Breakthrough, but... I feel like if I played two Breakthroughs, then I would have, like... I don't know, too much negation, I guess? There's a lot of good traps, right? There's not too many good traps right now. Um, I guess I'm gonna try calls, cause I didn't care for drag there. Let's throw these in. Oh, yeah. um, they changed the freaking tombstones. I'm gonna use now, I, I have to go, but the only reason I run one call over two is because I main deck macro. Okay. So uh, I, I could actually do that too. I'd run. If you're not running macro, run two call. If I'm running run, macro one one call. I'm gonna run macro, and then I have one. Help me figure out the last card in my side deck. And no, I don't want to main shadow mirrors. I'd rather just main macro. What, what what's the? I need like one card in my side deck. Mind control. Mind control. Okay, and then two more max deck. Uh, did you drop the threes? Oh, you're just playing pure. Okay. Um. Yolo. Um, I could lose around like my stroke in Utopia. No, like, don't do that. Oh, jeez! What was I running? Hey, you have, you have good stuff in yours, but you have like a Pleiades. Well, uh, before that, I just took out a Ragna Zero for that. Still playing Ragna Zero. Um, I gotta wait for it to load. Let's see if I can. F uh, Diamond Dire. Uh, yeah, I just heard a Wolf. Popping stuff. And. Let's see, you have Rhapsody, you have. Dweller, you have. Uh, I don't see a cowboy. Oh. Huh. There you go. Well, guys, after dicking around for a few hours, I feel like this is what we're gonna settle up on. So, uh, you know, thanks for watching this like, very extended video on figuring out what we're doing with Gear Gear.